Hi, this is Chris and I'm with Two Wheels Big Life. In this review, I am going to be talking about the HWK men's motorcycle jacket that I just received from Amazon. I found this jacket through the Facebook page of Motorcycle Camp Cook run by Billy Johnson. And he offers some really great tips and tricks on some reasonably priced, high quality motorcycle gear. And this is where I found this jacket and I thought, hey, I'm gonna give it a try. So let's get the elephant out of the room because I know the first thing you're thinking of is why is a woman talking about a men's adventure slash touring motorcycle jacket? Well, let me show you. It, it is a Cortex women's jacket. And somewhere in my lineage, there was an orangutan and a giraffe because I have yet to find any women's motorcycle gear that is long enough in the arm so I don't burn this section of my skin or always have to remember to put sunblock on it and long enough in the torso so that it doesn't, when, it, when I'm riding and it rains, I'm not getting my butt wet. So I've never, while well, this jacket's a very comfortable jacket, it's just not the right size for me. So I thought, hey, I saw this motorcycle jacket. It was $43 and I thought, oh, check it out. It's got some really good reviews. Let's try the jacket on and see how it fits. Aha, look at those sleeves. Look at this. Oh man, let me tell you, that's really nice. Um, the, the zippers seem like they're high quality zippers. They seem nice and big. It has adjustable straps on the sides and the arms so I can make it a little bit more form fitting to fit my shape. Uh, the jacket is supposed to be 100% waterproof. It does have a lining for cold weather that you can zip out. It has the reflective strips on it in the back also. The material is 600D, which I think is 600 denarii, if I'm pronouncing that right, which is a unit of measurement, a unit of thread measurement. My only bone of contention is that the jacket's a little noisy, but maybe after I have ridden in it and worn it for a while, it'll kind of wear in. So, oh. It's got Velcro. It has um, vents on it. I think it has it has four vents on it for airflow. So in the warmer weather, I can zip the lining out and open up the vents and hopefully I'll be fairly cool. One of my only concerns is that I noticed is that one of the inside zipper pockets, I have not been able to unzip it and I haven't really tried yet because I don't want to break it but there's a possibility that, I don't know, I have to decide if, this, if I really care about this inside zipper enough that I return the jacket and if it's worth it or if I potentially break it trying to open it up. Overall, I love the feel and the comfort of the jacket. I love the length of the arms. I won't, there will be no more real estate on my arms that get sunburned like in my other jacket. I think the only other thing I was worried about was this thing here, because I tend to sit up more on my bike, lean over maybe just a little bit. See, this isn't, this is okay. Oh, I did not talk about the armor. It is CE rated armor. I couldn't find out if it was one or two rated, but it does have the elbow pads, the shoulder pads, and the back pad. So it is, heavily covered with armor. All right, to sum it all up, yes, this is a budget price motorcycle jacket, but it does show you that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to be adequately protected. I wanna encourage you to not let the high price of some of the motorcycle gear that is out there to discourage you from getting into motorcycle riding because there are good brands out there that will adequately protect you. And if you're a woman, I do want to let you know there is a lot of women's motorcycle gear out there I just personally haven't found anything yet that fits my body's type, my body type, but I am still hoping. All right, the final thought on motorcycle jackets. I don't like my gear to be too snug. Unfortunately for motorcycle riding, it is more advantageous to have your gear more snug so that if you are involved in a crash, your pads, the elbow and the back and the shoulder that can stay in place to give you the most protection that you need.
So my suggestion to you is try on different types of motorcycle jackets. You want to try them on with the lining zipped in and then adjust all the straps in the waist and the arms and then also with the lining zipped out and again adjust the straps. Make sure that all the pads are going to stay in place on the off chance that something happens and you go rolling down the highway. Um, get on your motorcycle, you sit on your bike, put your helmet on, go for a ride, make sure that nothing is rubbing where it's going to be uncomfortable for you for the long run. Those are just some good points to consider. All right, my disclaimer on this jacket is I have only worn it around the house. I am going to go on a very extended long trip and I will give you guys an update in six months as to what I think about it, give you some pros, give you some cons. So stay tuned. Thanks.